Hello, hello, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a whatever comes out type of reading. I have a lot of show and tell goodies today for you guys. One of them is my favorite drink at the moment. It's as big as me. It's called Savia, aloe pomegranate drink. This is very, very good for my ulcerative colitis. There is like a high sugar intake, but it's been really, really refreshing and it's kind of cleared up like my skin. So aloe, <laughs> all I gotta say is aloe. Welcome back. Jurassic Park watch, very, very Libran trait. We are doing a live today, so we have a couple surprises. We are going to be reading out of the Dalai Lama little book of wisdom. So I, what I do is I close my eyes and I open it to a random page, and we're gonna do that right now. All right, the quote is, when we talk of cultivating the thought of holding others as supremely dear, it is important to understand that we are not cultivating the kind of pity that we sometimes feel towards someone who is less fortunate than ourselves, but to help those who are less fortunate. With having pity, there can be a tendency to look down on the subject or object of others with no compassion and to feel a sense of superiority. Let yourself be free today and hold others dear for the fact that they are just living. And that is page 232 from the little book of wisdom, Dalai Lama. I thought that quote was really, really beautiful. So I did meditate before the whatever comes out reading today. We have trees in the oracle. I'll put that up to the viewfinder. There you go, trees. Sorry for my ill manicured nails. There's children in my life, I don't have time. Um, <laughs> the trees are stating today that you must go and ground yourself. It is a card here of going to ground yourself and um, I know I promised a video. It's been really, really hot to film outdoors lately. So we will have that coming up. I had totally meant to do a grounding video for several days, but it is so unbelievably hot here in California and it's getting up to the high 90s. So we'll talk about that in a future video. Um, trees are also referring to the book of life. It's what you keep in that book that's sacred. It's also how you train your mind to have good positive self-talk at this time, Libra, especially since we're in a period we're going to into summer and it's going to be a highly social season. It is Gemini season, by the way, and they're very, very talkative. So, um, so trees, um, if you want to, a good practice is to sit under a tree, no matter how short or long you would like to. It is a good grounding practice to be by the roots of the trees. It also gives a bit of silence uh, for your mind to quiet its worrisome ways. Um, not only is there a calming factor, but trees also give off an innately um, wondrous feeling. I feel like it takes your worries away. Um, so trees today. We also have underneath that, right directly under that, is angels. You could feel like your guides are sort of very prevalent around you right now, or you have a heavenly connection to the spiritual world. If you're someone very close to the spiritual world and you have many passed on loved ones, I have a feeling that that angels card has been like your whole last two weeks. You've been very, very connected to the ethers. You could also be connecting with them through prayer. So angels, um, I was gonna take the one right after that, it is more mother energy. This has been in our overall Libran readings throughout the week, and those are our oracles today. So this is whatever comes out, and don't be shy. Go ahead and come in on the live chat. You guys are all welcome all the time, and um, this is a whatever comes at Libra reading. Okay, challenge card with six of cups. This is meditation earlier. This is your challenge because this is a somebody. This is someone who is coming in on your energy, Libra. Not only is it a missing you card, the Six of Cups is nostalgia and missing somebody and also remembering memories from the dear past. But this is someone who's definitely heavily in your energy. They'd like to come in, they'd like to have a role, no matter how small. Sometimes though, this could be a gaslighting technique from the person. So just be weary depending on who you're dealing with and their energy, who they are today and define who the Six of Cups person is. Also, it could easily be a water sign. It is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, as I like to say. <laughs> Whatever comes out today, Libra. Let's get the general energy for Libra. What's their spirit today? Libra, sun, moon, rising. 
Libra. Got more death energy here. So if you are dealing with a Scorpio or you have Scorpio um, highly aspected features in your chart, you could feel like you kind of are in your Scorpio mood or you could be a cusper here born on the edge of Libra and Scorpio season. We have the Knight of Cups. We have somebody coming in in a very, very romantic. Um, they delegate that they're romantic. I do feel like this person could also be someone who's kind of bugabooing at this time. And uh, we also have the Three of Swords. This is our card. This is air energy. You could be dealing with residual energy from being involved in a third party, or you have evidence you were in a third party. Um, if this is not, and that's not the case of that, you could just feel residual energy from that person not being anymore in your life. If they were heavily in your memories, or they were a heavy role player, High Priestess again. Oh, I wanted to show you guys what my fortune cookie said, too. I opened a fortune cookie. I lost it already. It said, trust your intuition. Literally, when I opened and, you know, I went through my whole thing of eating the fortune cookie after the meal, I had that saying. So I'll post that in the community. It was very, very eerie. And I thought I should say that here in a video. It literally said, trust your intuition, period. So we are going to get more of whatever comes out. General energies for Libra. For Libra Sun Moon rising this afternoon, 26th. Again, more of our energy, King of Swords. The King of Swords knows what he wants. Um, he's also highly in control. He might not say much to begin with, but he's heavily in control of his feelings. He also knows where to go next with those feelings. Um, there is a non-budging aspect to you today, Libra, on the 26th. You could be not budging about a subject. You could not be allowing yourself to feel something at this time just because it's too much work or it makes you sad or it drives the emotion and energy of your feel-good self down. Just remember with this King of Swords, be careful again with that Six of Cups energy that's kind of being or trying to come into your world here. They could very much be trying to get something from you. It's not so much you. It could just be an aspect of you that they're trying to grasp. Or maybe, again, gaslighting could be a huge, huge thing for you this week. Um, with the High Priestess, intuition is on your side at this time. It's also, as you can see there, she has a crescent moon at the very top, which means she's tuning into the ethers. She listens. She gravitates towards those messages. And you could definitely right now, Libra, even be getting a taste of this. When you meet people or you get exposure, you are sensing those small little details. The little details are letting you know about people and their intentions with you. We also have earlier, forgot to show this, Page of Swords. You could be picking up something new. This could be in technicalities. I see someone here on the computer a lot doing research. I also see someone here on their phone doing research. You could be finding out right now or just gathering information at the very least, like not making any action steps, but you are gathering. Keyword, gathering information or attaining information. We also got 10 of cups, bottom of the deck. Okay. Um, whatever comes out here for Libra, let's get career advice for the career sector of Libra. What is going on with the Libra's money and finances? We have Six of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, after three shuffles. You could be feeling right now that there is, Six of Pentacles is generosity. Um, it's also being able to share your wealth. It's also being highly generous with other people. You could feel more so that this is in the sector of you paying attention to your own self. You are not really giving, you're giving back to yourself. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, Libra. You could just not be giving out any payments right now to the collective or to others. You could just be giving back to self. And that is also helping you and reinvest in whatever plans you have for the future. I also sense here somebody could be buying a new car soon. You could be going from gas to electric. So this could be a Prius for some Libra here, or you could just be more economical in your feelings overall. Whatever comes out for Libra, 
Let's get a three combo on emotions right now. The emotions of Libra. Also welcome in if you're a little late here, we just got started. We're doing a whatever comes out for Libra on the 26th of May. Emotions for Libra. Okay, we have a very interesting set of cards here. Take a look at these real quick in the viewfinder. We have Seven of Swords, the Judgment, and the King of Wands. In this energy, you have a lot of air, which is the swords, and you also have fire. That is combustible energy. This is combustion. You have somebody here wanting to come to you very, very, very quickly, King of Wands. This could be a prospective romantic partner. Guys here, this is a girl taking King of Wands energy. For the females here, there's also some treachery, deception. There's also somebody watching you. If they are not watching you online, they actually have knowledge of where you live or whereabouts you live. I would pay attention to this energy today. This is combustive because there could be somebody interested in you, Libra, and then there's an opposite tandem of somebody wanting to maybe get in on Libra's energy because it's been a while, okay? Um, also with the wands and the swords here, if you look at this person, they have a very, very, very serious intent, okay? The king of wands knows what he wants. There's also capability here to control a situation. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could very well be somebody who knows how to get your attention. The only thing they're lacking is how to communicate with you effectively, okay? Which is why they're coming in fast, which is why they're maybe even coming in bothersome at this time. Okay, I'm gonna put some cards back in the deck and we're gonna get more of your feelings. We also had judgment there, okay? You could be feeling like you're coming very, very close to making that decision, Libra. This could even be involved with moving or going to another state, or this could be deciding on, I get judicial system here. Somebody is deciding on getting a lawyer. Um, this could be having to do with a court case over children. This could be in that sector, judgment, justice system, things like that. So if you are going to be making a decision soon, do not go with the perfectionist Libra attitude that you normally have. Just pick what's best for the situation at this time. We are in Mercury retrograde, so your decisions have to be extra, extra careful. Okay, more energy for Libra. Thank you, Spirit. Ace of Wands. We have King of Cups on the bottom of that. I'll show you. Uh, so this is a new beginning. Somebody here is having a new start. I do get romance vibes. I do get that it's in romance. I feel though, Libra, I feel like you don't think that they have, you're reluctant with them. It's almost like they might even remind you of your ex. I get like almost a doppelganger for your ex. So just be careful because they could be totally sweet and completely different. Um, give them an equal try, okay? Uh, this could actually be a person more healthier for you. So that's just a side note. We also have justice. Again, I feel heavy, like real justice system vibes today. You could be dealing with a court case that you need um, advice, amending over. Uh, maybe you're trying to re-employ uh, something to happen or push something to happen. So I definitely think if it's not that, you are getting some form of justice and we end with our own flavor here today. Um, there could be justice too in a relationship that you have with somebody. You could be learning things, and the more and more you see, the more and more you're right. That's sort of the vibe I get today. The more and more you see, the more that it's correct. That is for the current live. Thank you guys for joining today. Um, if you guys did write in the chat, I will reply to you if you have a previous comment on the channel. That's how I sort of get back to you. And also, uh, tomorrow we're gonna have a live in the morning. We're gonna have a session with new cards and new feelings, so come back here at 10 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. I hope you have a good day. Thank you for coming by to the live, and also new video update uh, after this video. There is a uh, intuitive no cards reading, so that'll be in the video bar. I hope you have a fabulous day, all the Libras in the land. Remember, you are the scales. Make that light work.